All right, fight fans, here we go. Moving right along. This fight is brought to you by Aaron'sTire.com. This will be three three-minute rounds. First up, making his way to the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Put your hands together for Ricky Galanos. Mikey Galanos, no stranger to this TXC cage. Probably one of my favorite 125 pound fighters on the planet. Fighting out of Absolute Combat Club. United Shoot Fighting Alliances, trained by Steve Lowe and Sean Cooper. Mikey Galanos is one of those guys who gets a little better with every fight, but has absolutely no quit in him. I've seen him on occasion when he's been outmatched and it's becoming more and more infrequent as his skill level continues to improve. But he may be outmatched uh, on his skill set and the kid just has absolutely no quit in him. And because of that, He's won fights that on paper he never should have won. So he's always an exciting fighter. And as he continues to improve, there are big things in this kid's future. Mikey weighed in at a spry 123.5 pounds. And his opponent making his way to the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. Put your hands together for Tony Martin. Mikey, I was 130 in sixth grade. Tony Barton also weighing in right at 123 pounds. Coming to the cage with a five and five record. Fighting out a Fuse MMA and MASH. Bringing a strong pedigree of his coaching staff into the cage with him for sure. And as we just saw with Josh Bruckner, guys like Don Richard and Todd Ali do not put people in the cage unless they're prepared, which is exciting as a fan because now we know we're gonna get a very solid fight. Well, usually I make money doing that. I, I only get a pay 150 bucks in this one. And when I do amateur shows, I charge between 250 and 350. That's the Final cage side preparation there. Vaseline on the eyebrows and cheeks, and we'll be ready to go. Into the cage, Carol Rowe with your official TXC introductions. Brought to you by Arandastire.com. It'll be three three-minute rounds, and your referee in charge is Vance Swearden. To my left, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed 123 and a half pounds, stands five foot six inches tall, 
comes to us with a record of 14 wins, five losses. He is trained by Steve Rowe and Sean Cooper out of Absolute Combat Club and United Shooting Alliances. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mickey! To my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed 125 pounds, stands five foot four inches tall. He comes to us with a record of five and five. He is trained by Don Richard and Todd Alley out of Fuse MMA and MASH Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together once again for Tony Barton. All right, fight fans, when we get started, Mikey Galano's fighting out of the red corner. White trimmed in blue and black venom shorts. Tony Barton fighting out of the blue corner. Black trimmed in red fight shorts. Quick tap of the gloves. The tough thing, oh, coming out as a, as a southpaw. You never know with Tony Barton what he's going to come out with. Up and down, that's, that's what we want to see from him. You know, mixing things up. Just a smile from Galanos. Well, he's putting pressure on Mikey now. He's landed a couple of solid shots so far, Kara. You know, looks really confident going in. Oh, and he just... <laughs> Lands that straight, catches the kick, lands the straight left, and it's nice to see him putting stuff together. Mikey's well, got to stop that. You don't want to take too many of those shots because the next one might be good night. No, you know, and usually when a guy starts showboating, it's because he's getting close. Oh, completely. Tony, uh, you know, doing a good job trying to prevent that. Mikey doing a good job turning the corner on this takedown, though. We had really good hip pressure and head control from, from Tony Barton, but Mikey now trying to run it around. Just needs to keep driving into him. Ah, he's, Tony's back on his feet and Mikey in a little trouble. You know, oh, big jackhammer coming down there, Kara. The confidence of Tony coming out here just was really amazing. And it's probably nice he's confident because he's fighting someone his own weight. You know, a lot of times we see him at 35 fighting tough guys. Well, remember, he was the 115 champion. Yeah, and then he would have to go up and down all over the place to get fights. Mikey's got that leg. If he pulled it through and drived, he might have had a chance. But right now, Tony Barton just absolutely out wrestling him. And that arm sliding through. Mikey's got to be careful. He doesn't give up his back here because the rear naked is already deep. Is it ever deep? Look at that. And I mean, how often do you see someone get choked out by rear naked right there? You don't, but if he turns the corner, it comes around the back. Mikey Galanos is in a lot of trouble. Good hand control, though, now. Got to be careful. Oh, and look at looking to try and maybe stretch and Kara, it out. there ain't enough time in this round for him to oh, hold it out. If he can stretch it out, I mean, I know it's hard to tell, a little ground and pound now, but just defense mode is Galanos, that's it. Well, you'll have to put Mikey to sleep for him to tap. I know, right? They're, you know what, they're both like that. That's that's the thing about them. And we'll see. Barton deciding to let him back up and punch with him, good job. Tony just mixing things up. Mikey doesn't even know what to look for with him right but now. But look at the heavy breathing from Tony Barton. Well, I mean, he's doing all the everything. Oh, and I don't even, really can't even tell you what kind of punch that was. I don't know, but he got the job done. Gotta be careful he doesn't get rolled through. Needs to continue to pull his own hips out, does Mikey Galanos. You know, Tony you know, safe right now, just kind of catching his breath. I think. It's kind of a stalemate. Right. Whoever makes the first mistake at this point is going to wind up giving up position. Micah Galano's hooking the leg and coming over now. Just got to be careful he doesn't get rolled through. Oh, and he did and lands a clean left hand to Micah Galanos. You could hear from over here. You know, and I think this is where Tony just has got to take some deep breaths. He's going to ride out the time. It's We're short on time. Ten seconds right now. 10 seconds, this fight going around too. One-sided, that first round. It was, but most guys in this fight uh, would have finished the guy they were fighting. Yeah. Mikey Galanos doesn't quit. You have no, to stop you, yeah. him. And that's the thing with him. I mean, we've seen him in deep water tons of times and really start to turn things around. And Tony really has to catch his breath here. This is where your recovery is so important. All of the guys I train, they, they're so anti-running and because I'm from a boxing background I'm like you guys have to run I mean just for the recovery alone you have to get out there and run and then once they do they realize how quickly they recover I mean I've they've said there's tremendous differences running is how you escape fires random shooting <laughs> events things of that nature you don't want to do that <laughs> and escape the uh, mid-drift muffin top Steve no comment <laughs> <laughs> He's not a fan of mine I, oh, right I now. Just, well, I, I didn't realize we were in a gunfight. I thought we were just <laughs> talking about fights here. All right, fight fans, seconds ordered out. Wow. Round two about to get underway. 
Mikey's got to do something drastically different in this round. And he's got to expect that now. Expect anything from Tony. It could be a punch, a kick, uh, Tony coming out as a southpaw. And, you know, he's had success with those head kicks. We saw him with that high head kick knock somebody out. And there it is again that he's trying to land. But as you said, Galanos. Oh, nice jab. He's doing a great job shooting down the pipe. But he has a tendency when he gets close, puts his head down in there. Well, the problem uh, that Mikey has right now is he's more than content to go to the ground. And he got out wrestled that whole first round. So he's got to be a little stymied because he's always been a little behind the curve when it comes to well, catch. See, right here, Tony's got to be first, how he was the first round. He was waiting because he's tired, and that's going to change the whole composition of the fight. Well, he let Mikey time that one. Mikey's got to be careful. He doesn't get rolled through. Now needs to just establish some guards, or ground and pound, rather. Get, get tight in that guard, knees up tight. Take away the hips of Tony Barton and go to work scoring. Look at Tony trying to isolate now over there. Going to look for a flower sweep. Nice and deep. Now looking to turn into the arm bar here. And there's that flower, but he's going to run into the side of the cage. And Mikey able to hold on to that. Again, these guys right back in a stalemate looking for one of the other one to make a mistake. If that head, if that head pops out, you know, he's got the arm and, and everybody's yelling at it, but Mikey not in any danger there. That's right. the problem with holding on to that arm through that position. Now, Mikey needs to establish that second hook before he starts trying to roll through. You know, the fatigue you're seeing from Tony already because he just killed himself that first round. And that was what we saw even in the first round, right. that he was having trouble. And we know Mikey comes full of cardio. You know, and even when you're in great shape, if you don't know how to breathe in there, if you, you don't control your breathing, it's over. It doesn't matter how great a shape you're in. Well, now Tony Barton in a little bit of trouble. Able to, I thought he was going to be able to get his back to the mat, but now back on his knees. Mikey just not able to get that hook. Oh, almost that body lock in there. Yeah, except I the way that I don't even think he's looking for is. it, though. It, it, you know, and he could be. No, he's just thinking he's got plenty of time to work on setting up that choke. But every time he goes to set the choke, Tony Barton tries to get his back to the mat. It's impossible to choke a guy when his back is on the mat. Mikey needs to start softening him up with some leather. Because right now we've got nothing going on, Kara. They're nothing basically going on. And I mean, you only have three minutes to work with, so you've got to work quick. This is basically a pajama party at this point. <laughs> Where's our invite? Now Mikey's nice high knees on that. Get a little bit of clearance. Now he but needs he to start him. softening him up. He, he just let him get away with that. I mean, he's got to have more intensity, Mikey does. I've never seen Mikey this lax a day before. Isn't he? I, yeah. And I don't know if that first round took a lot out of him. Ten seconds to go in this round number two. And look at Tony trying to steal the round. He absolutely and I mean, is, he, and he may very well do it. Yeah, he because he landed the opening nothing, shots. Exactly. He landed the ending shots. And there but, was really nothing in the middle. But there's one of those that I, you know, I would know I secured round one if I'm Tony. Round two, I would be a little suspect. So round three, I would say to myself, I have to win this round. And Mikey, on the other hand, Could, he's got to believe he's down two rounds yeah. to nothing. He's got to finish this. He's got to finish this fight before. Well, he's got to wake he up. I mean, we haven't seen him like this. You, you always wonder why if, if he was coming down too much in weight. I mean, this is typically where he would be at so are you are you focused I'm, you can't no, you're you thinking about talking, the I'm cart busy, girl yeah. okay what, what? <laughs> maybe that's you why they have a, out on everything a female tonight? commentator so that when you guys are focused on the room <laughs> just making sure the ring girl is doing what she's supposed to do right is that yeah. how it works i am in charge of all things <laughs> cage related cage related absolutely yes. all right mikey limping a little bit yeah that's why i'm wondering if that first round took a lot out of him here we go with round number three the third and final round well, at this point, it's Tony Barton's this is the third fight to win or lose. Final round. Both of these guys a little fatigued at this point, but Barton much more so, Kara. But Barton's got to watch that left hand when he jabs. He drops it right to his hip. I mean, that's that's dangerous territory. I mean, and there, Mikey, Mikey just has to come, but his Mikey's not throwing anything damaging with his punches. He just looks really worn out. We've never seen him like this. He you usually comes on stronger. He's a slow starter sometimes, comes on stronger. That was a terrible shot, especially against what we've seen of the takedown yeah. defense of Tony Barton's. And now Mikey looking just so lackadaisical. You know, Tony's got to just find the energy to come and explode. This win will be huge for him. 
And, you know, I almost feel like I need to apologize to the fans watching at home. I promised them a good fight. Yeah, and I would have thought so, too. It seemed to start that way. Oh, Mikey throwing that straight right down the pipe and just to close the gap, but not successful 100%. Well, oh, you know, and turning had, things around is Tony Barton. Vance Mikey's looking for the back of the head. Mikey's got both his hands trapped. He had both his hands trapped, and it was unable to defend any of those shots. I mean, Mikey's now, at this point has to go for broke. He needs to stand up and look for the knockout. Forget all this ground game. I know that's his style, but. Really nice cross face taking the pressure off of that single leg there. Tony Barton doesn't need to pull his leg out. He just needs to turn into it. Mikey Galanos now needs to step up. I, I think he needs to step back and just let his hands go and throw haymakers if he wants to get the W because this is just... He's done nothing to establish uh, any type of striking game today, Kara. Which is strange because we usually see more well-rounded. We saw toe-to-toe with Nasser. Yes, exactly. You toe-to-toe with Nasser. Yeah, and I mean, that guy's I mean, a he didn't beast. He didn't come out on the winning end of it, but he's not afraid but we know, to do that. And we know he's capable of it. Tony yeah. looking. If he can get some high volume here, I mean, Mikey doesn't look like he's still in this game. Tony doesn't really need to do anything other than just sit there and let the clock tick at this point. A good place to be, though, Tony Barton in his corner. And I don't know if Mikey hasn't been training or he's cha changed up, you know, training partners or gyms, what he's been doing. He just no, couldn't he just, find his rhythm tonight. He does not look like the Mikey Galanos we're used to no. seeing. Short time coming up here, Kara. And Tony just content to ride it out, knowing yeah, he's got the W. If he had the remote, he'd be changing channels right now. That's <laughs> all he's concerned with. <laughs> Vance is bored. He's telling him, let's go. Because especially Vance knowing that, okay, no one's in a threatening position. Let's do something here. Tony trying to drop a little bit of leather, but not really looking to do much. Ten seconds left in this fight with almost... Possibly a shutout for Tony Barton. We'll see it. I'll tell you what, that's how it's going to score on my card, Kara. This, this fight going the distance, but should not be any confusion as to whose hand is going to go in the air at the end of this here. And Mikey holding the top of his foot. You know, he th and it's got a nice little mouse on it. He threw a pretty hard kick that landed squarely on Tony Barton's shin. And I wonder if he cracked a bone in that foot of his. Brandon, Brandon. Oh, you're judging too? Yeah. We have four judges. All right, fight fans, let's go in the cage. Kara, KO Row with your official TXC decision. All right, fight fans, after three rounds of fighting, we go to the scorecards, and all three judges have it for your winner by unanimous decision. Put your hands together for Tony 